My name is Jimmy. I'm a service technician at Bay Chevrolet. In general, I work on air conditioning, electrical, and also drivability at the dealership. Okay, on a typical day, I might come in, we may have one with an AC problem. Then I have to get the AC, what we call machine, where we hook up, recover Freon, check and do diagnostic checks as far as compressor, different functions of the dash as far as HVAC, as far as actuators in general, uh, just basically just to check out the system, see wh which way we need to go with the problem. Another example, we may have a vehicle come in with a check engine light and an engine miss, so we have to hook up our scanners and that'll usually pinpoint what cylinder we're looking for that is missing. And we just do a final, uh, follow a diagnostic tree and find out it could possibly be a plug, plug wire, could also be something internal in the engine. But that basically is what you deal with as far as drivability. Okay, I work a 40 hour week, which is five days a week. Uh, the most stressful part, sometimes we get what they call intermittent problem. Well, what that is, customer feels it or their vehicle is acting up at times. Of course, when we get it, we cannot duplicate it. So we have to sit here and go through the whole diagnostics of that vehicle till we can finally get it to act up. In some cases, it's just customer feeling something that's normal in the vehicle, but sometimes there is a problem. And that's, uh, that can get stressful at times. If you're interested in doing this job, I recommend somebody go to a vocational technical type school, somebody that teaches automotive, and it also would help if somebody would be mechanically inclined. You see a lot of people think they want to do this job, but they really, once they get into it, they really have no idea what, what they were getting into. So I would say somebody mechanically inclined and really have to want to do this type work. Okay, the best part of this job is knowing when you fix the vehicle and knowing it's fixed right and that customer is going to be out there safe with whatever you have, repairs you have made on this vehicle. And I'm going to mention again, the worst part of this job is what I mentioned before about intermittent problems. When you're chasing one and it takes you sometimes days to find a problem, the stress level can get very high. And that's what I would say probably be the worst part of this job. And also, sometimes the worst part of this job too, you, you got to be ready to get dirty. Sometimes you really get dirty doing this. And sometimes you do get a few injuries as you can see right here. But that just comes part of the job. And I recommend somebody getting a list has got to want to do it. I would say if you're at a high school and they offer automotive some kind of technical automotive class to go ahead and, and get into that because everybody's looking for experienced people. And if you don't have the experience just like anything else, they're going to put you through training programs. And uh, different car manufacturers have those training programs, but also these like junior colleges or technical schools also have them. So I would recommend to, you know, go to one of those and get some experience and let them recommend you to some, some dealership or any type of car you might want to work on, you know, some like foreign cars, some like domestic, so it just really depends on what type you want to work on. One other thing I think you ought to be aware of, most technicians like me that's been in this business for years and years, we work strictly commission, no guarantee. When you come into a program, you can usually find different employees or at dealerships that'll pay you an hourly rate till you can ever get to the level where you can get to what they call be on your own. But I tell you, over the years, I've had no problem working commission. Uh, if you get good at different jobs, you can go, like I said, you can work on air conditioners, uh, drivability, electrical problems. You don't need to just stay in one category. Just kind of, if, if you know how to fix enough things on a car, you can make money. 